The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. And that's why I emphasize the soullessness. I'm pretty good with adjectives, but um, I feel helpless coming up with one incriminating enough or um, descriptive enough to identify those who would hate freedom, hate the right to self-defense, and smirk at the widow of a Navy SEAL for celebrating the freedom that all warriors dedicate and volunteer their lives to fight for. Make no mistake, my enemy looks and smells exactly what the enemy of freedom should look and smell like. Hygiene challenged Michael Moore's G-Force lying Nancy, you don't have to read it, you need to sign it, Pelosi's. Deceptive scam artists like Diane, I've got a 38, you don't get one, Feinstein, and the list goes on. So don't underestimate, as I, as I did to Pierce Morgan, they don't care about saving lives. I know that's a terrible thing to say, and it pains me to say it, because I so love humans. I'm so surrounded by such positive, honest, buoyant humans every day that I'm in shock like you are, and challenge to actually describe the negative soullessness of people who would be against self-defense. Because that's all the Second Amendment is about, that's all the NRA is about, is that we can defend our precious gift of life from evil no matter how it materializes. And those that would smirk at the widow of a, of a Navy SEAL hero is a perfect representation of who's on the other line, other side of the line drawn in the sand. I'm on the side with Glenn Beck and Chris Kyle and his widow. I'm on the side with the warriors and freedom lovers, honest people, productive Americans, those that hate us and that smirk at the widows of heroes are clearly on the side with the Michael Moores and the Governor Cuomo's and the Mayor Bloomberg's. And it, 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 it makes me rather proud because there's always been good and evil. We are the good. Well, I, I didn't have to have confirmation at the NRA that so many in the media are dishonest, grossly unprofessional, um, sinfully biased. As I said to Pierce Morgan, I really don't think I can help you. Because honesty and integrity, sense of decency, and especially in the media, dedication to accuracy is something that must come from within. You must find that yourselves. And here's the real horror of it. Those of you who violate the premise of honest journalism, you are so feeble and soulless, you don't even know it. It's like dopers who thinks that dope doesn't cause problems, not knowing that their brains are so destroyed by dope, only they think it doesn't cause a problem. <laughs> so we're going to continue with the positive, honest fight for individual freedoms, the self-evident truth that makes America the last best place, and we're going to trample the weak and hurdle the dead. We're going to overcome the dishonesty and the entrenched bias in the media, and we're going to shine the light on freedom and truth while spotlighting the cockroaches, and I, I will continue to go Pierce Morgan on you. Know that. Brace thyself. Well, I don't have teleprompters, I don't have a script, and I don't have any writers, but I have a heart and a soul and an intellect and a radar that picks up on the spirit of the positive Americans that I hang with, perform with, work with, hunt with, and celebrate the National Rifle Association with. That was epitomized by what happens all the time, but we've spotlighted it today, where Americans know that our freedom is provided by the supreme sacrifices of the U.S. military heroes, and that they are mistreated 
criminally, we believe, by our government and the Veterans Administration. Only the guilty need to feel guilty, because many in government and many in the Veterans Administration are fighting to repay those who have sacrificed. But when it really comes down to it, is we the people giving away free custom homes to the heroes that have sacrificed their legs and their arms, and we're fighting to stop the tragedy and the curse of increased suicide in the veterans of America by reaching out to them like we did today in giving away two custom homes to heroes of the United States military who need that, that help, need that salute, and need that thank you. And again, it goes on all the time. I hope the media does cover it, not because of me or those that gave and volunteered to help the, the deserving, but because more and more Americans, as they learn that we can reach out to the military heroes, Americans, good Americans, always do. And uh, to be fair, some of my liberal friends and some of those that wander into the enemy territory on the line drawn in the sand, they are also very generous. So maybe it's one issue that can unite a lot of us in America beyond ideologies and beyond political issues and just dig deeper and help those who are most deserving and communicate with our government to get rid of the waste, the fraud, the thievery of our tax dollars for scams and nonsense and steer those tax dollars that we would be more than happy to pay for the heroes of the military. That's what's going on, OperationFinallyHome.org and the great Military Warriors Support Foundation. God bless those who give. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.